Greetings somebody. Welcome back to Hitman Friday. I've been joined by Mr. George and Mr. Chicago. We're gonna talk about Honor today. But before we do that, kindly subscribe to this channel called Hitman Friday. So uh, about Honor, Honor you know is the respect, the recognition, the reverence that you show upon people that are around you. And we're gonna deal with two questions. How to improve friendship in line with Honor? And the second question is, is it right for a person in a relationship or marriage to, to have friends of different sex in line with honor? So not just that, you're also going to understand why should you honor your father, your mother, your friends, your elder, your workmates, your pastor, different people that are around you. So at this point in time, Mr. Chicago, I want you to tell us about how you can improve friendship. Welcome, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hitman, for hosting me once again. So before I answer your question, let me say something. When it comes to relationship, people have to appreciate love because without love, no friendship cannot exist or last for a long time. And there are types of love and classes of love. So mm -hmm. I'll start with types of love. We've got agape love, which is the love without condition. Then we also have uh, philautia love, which is the self-love, where you improve your your health then we also have filial love which is the love which occurs in family members and also among friends then when we go to classes of love we have a um, married couple we, we also have got uh, friends to friends parents to children mm -hmm. so even the love that is, um, happens in marriage it is not the same love that is given to friends and which is given by parents and um, all in all, we have to understand that um, filial love, which is a type of love that occurs or rather exists in a class of love, which is called friends. So now, answering your question, which is uh, how to improve friendship. Do you know that we don't maintain friendship, but we improve friendship? What I mean by that is uh, something that you maintain, it has got limits, but something that you improve, it has got no limits. And therefore, friendship, it's a mystery. It goes beyond what we can think and we can imagine. So um, somebody asked me a question to say that, uh, why is it that you are in ministry, but you've got other friends who are not in ministry? Remember, not everyone is called to be an apostle, to be a pastor or a prophet, but everyone has got a gift, a skill, and a talent. And above all, everyone is assigned to preach all over the world. So... Um, we I'll also talk about um, <coughs> how to honor in terms of inner nature of spirituality and physicality. And um, why should we honor? Because you said something about honoring parents, mm -hmm. honoring friends. Because these things, it has got something which is attached to it. When you honor parents, you are buying more lives to, your, mm -hmm. to yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? Because your parents can talk to you at a friend level. What I mean by that, um, it's um, friendship, it helps you to open up to one another. So if a parent talks to you, they are opening up their weakness to you. But it's up to you to honor them. Because there are some of the parents who are your father. Okay, And to be a father, it's an office. It has got responsibility. And that office, it carries a reward if you honor that office which is a father mm. so a father can bless you a father can also curse you so if you don't honor your parents they can curse you but if you honor them they can bless you and you are going to live a long life so even uh, there are some of you who even visit your friends at the work premise mm -hmm. maybe someone is a doctor mm -hmm. you have to honor their office as a doctor don't call them by their name maybe let's say uh, you are a hitman, then you are a doctor. When I visit you, I shouldn't call you by your name like, ah, Mr. Hitman, I have to call you by your office, which is a Dr. doctor. Mike. Even by doing that, <coughs> yeah, I'm be, I can be promoted, I can have favor through you. Why? Because I'm honoring you. Respecting. Some, respecting the office. True. It enables you to be promoted. There are some of you, you've stayed for so long, maybe five years at the same position. But once you start honoring your friends, mm -hmm. you are calling them by their office. Is a manager, is a secretary. You are going to be promoted. Try it. If it doesn't work, try it again. It will work for you. 
and we're going to give a testimony. Mm -hmm. Now, I'll also talk about something which is honored in parents. Mm -hmm. Okay, because there are some of the people who are in ministry, and a person can come to them who is a parent and is calling them papa. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't disrespect them because they are calling you papa. You also have to honor their office as a mother, as a father. Mm -hmm. And by doing that, even your ministry will mm -hmm. stay for a long time. You are buying more years mm -hmm. to your ministry. And let me say something, okay? Uh, there is also what we call an office of an elder. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't only respect elders of the church, maybe the elders who are in the church, even your elder brothers and your elder sisters. Some, they are disrespecting their elder brothers. I've got my elder brother who is the second born because I'm the fourth born. He calls me papa every time we meet. But I don't disrespect them because he's calling me papa. He's my elder brother. There's that office he carries as an elder. I have to give him respect. And by doing that, I'm gaining favor. Why? Because I respect him. And um, lastly, you should honor the information that is given to you by people. What I mean by that, uh, people can open up to you. Uh, by their weakness, but what should you do with the information that is given to you? So you have to honor them by becoming their strength. Respect them. If a person comes to you to say that, ah, my brother, I'm weak in this area, respect them by becoming their strength. So I think that's all that I can say about honor. Mm. Those are the benefits of honoring someone. Okay. So honor their weakness by becoming their strength. Honor that information. But I, I heard you say something, sir, about honor. Mm -hmm. So honor is attached with love. Yes. Honor is also attached with giving out. Honor is definitely out. attached to love. Okay. Yes. Then, because I really <coughs> like when you said honor is like buying. Like, if you honor your parents, you, you get more years exactly. in return. Yes. yes. Wow. It's a transaction. It's a transaction. So mm. honor is a transaction. Very, very good transaction. Yeah. So, um, at this point in time, people, allow Mr. Josh to tell us how about, is it right for a person who is in a relationship or marriage to have friends of the opposite sex? Yeah, so, sir, welcome, sir. Thank you very much, Mr. Hitman. Um, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching us from. And um, my question is on, is, is it right for a married person to have friends of the opposite sex? Firstly, I would like to acknowledge my brothers for giving me this platform to talk about this issue with, with you guys. And um, firstly, I'm going to talk about the positive. Mm. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the negative. There are two parts of it. Right. If not, three mm -hmm. parts. But I'm going to talk about two parts because they're the most, they are the crucial. So the first part I'm going to talk about is societal opinions on what's right and wrong. So is it right for a married person to have friends of the opposite sex? Mm. Positive, yes. Mm. Mm. Negative, no. Mm. So I am talking about it in a negative way. Mm -hmm. Firstly, norms, cons, and pros about this. You will not go around as mm. a married man or a person who is in a relationship mm. with another person of the opposite sex. Wow. This is a woman. Mm -hmm. We are all men here. Mm -hmm. I'm talking about it from a general perspective. We are all men here. You have a wife, you have a wife. Society will see you as a person that is not married if you move around with other women that are not your wives. This mm. is wow. this is this is wow. this mm. is societal's opinion on marriage. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The positive part about this is the brain and the heart. Mm. Wow. The brain mm. will always tell you, will always give you the right thing. But the heart will always give you the bad thing. Read me and quote me. Mm. The heart will always give you a bad thing. The brain will always give you the right thing. Mm. Why am I saying this? You will never make a decision when you are sad. And you will never make a decision, a right decision, when you are happy. Are you not going to ask me why, sir? Are you not going to ask yeah, me? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We are following. We are following. We are, following. are you really following? <laughs> yes, sir. You are never going to make a decision when you're sad. You are never going to make a decision when you're happy. Why is that so? Because your brain will always know what your heart is feeling before you make the decision. Wow. Wow. That's deep. 
Mm. Before you make the decision, you see, you know you are married. You know mm. you are married. Mm. Your heart will love, will love, will love, will feel some c- certain excitement that you have never felt mm. before. Mm. The first time you saw your wife, you knew that was the person you were going to get married to. Your heart jumped. Mm-hmm. Mm. Your heart jumped till you married the person. You're now a happy person. But when you saw somebody else, your heart jumped again. You know you're married, so your brain knows you're married. Never make a decision when you're so happy. Never make a decision when you're mad. Mm. If you have a problem with your wife, never run to a certain certain decision because you're sad. Mm-hmm. No, I will leave the person because I'm sad. No, mm-hmm. I will do this because I'm sad. Don't do that. Real love. Agape love. Can you please read, read for me on agape love? Sir? Agape love. This is the love without condition. Condition. Unconditional love, yes. people of God. Unconditional love is what we're talking about right now. Mm. So when you love somebody unconditionally, mm. you do not want them. You do not want them to leave you. You do not want them to go around portraying you in a bad way. Mm. You do not want to see your significant other with other people in roles and doing all sorts of things behind your back. You mm-hmm. understand what I am saying, my mm-hmm. brother? Yeah. So exactly what I am saying is your brain will always give you the right decision. Make the right decision and don't follow your heart. Do mm. never follow your heart. Follow, follow your mind because your mind knows better. Thank you very much. Wow, wow. This is very, very interesting. Like from what Mr. George was saying, um, you know, if you respect what you have and if you honor what you have, there are some certain things that you cannot do, yes, especially yes. if you are in a relationship. So train up your, your mind that you may honor that thing that you have. Mm. Just be in that position where you just want to honor that thing. And um, just to conclude our, um, on our show today, I will talk about um, is I can be with my brothers here. You would find that I'm honoring them. I'm recognizing them. I'm respecting them. Mm-hmm. You see me respect them each and every day. But behind their back, I am not honoring them. So you would find that sometimes on how we honor people, even when they are not there, it shows true ownership. So it is not just honoring people kneeling down, no. But are you kneeling in your heart? It's not about honoring people by posting them everywhere to say, I've got this beautiful partner. Oh, you're, you're telling people about, oh, this, me, this, 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 that. It's not just about that. But also behind their back, do you still honor them? So as we are concluding, um, even honor can be tested sometimes. You would find that your honor for somebody can be tested. Let's say, like uh, what my brother was talking about here, your, maybe your parent, it could be an elder, you know maybe somebody's weakness, you know somebody's nakedness. Does it mean you should start disrespecting them? No. It is coming to test your honor, your loyalty towards them. It is coming to test that honor that you have to say, ah, how can somebody do such a thing? How can this person I look up to do such a thing? So let us learn to respect people. Let us always honor people that deserve to be honored mm-hmm. in our daily lives. Exactly. Yeah. Um, this, the rest of the things, we'll reserve them for next week as we continue talking about honor. So it's Hitman Friday. If you haven't yet subscribed, kindly subscribe. See you next week.